there my lovelies this is jenna here welcome to my kitchen so just in time for easter look what i have here this is a special recipe that has nothing to do with easter but i wanted to bring it to you guys nonetheless because it's one of my favorites and it's something i know you guys dig which is cheese as in vegan cheese of course because that's how we roll here on this channel you know that by now so super easy and uh two ingredients how about that? So let me show you how I put it together. First, you're going to need two liters of unsweetened soy milk. It has to be unsweetened soy milk and it has to be pure soy milk. As in, you turn the uh, carton and then you see behind on the back the label. It says only soy and water, okay? Sometimes they add a little bit of salt for whatever reason they do, but it doesn't matter. Nothing else. That is crucial, okay? And now we're going to bring this uh, milk to a boil. We're going to put it, put it on a pot, obviously, <laughs> and then we're going to bring it to a boil, okay? Careful, because it's going to foam a little bit. Turn off the heat and wait. So the right temperature is... Um, I don't know, <laughs> I didn't measure with the thermometer, but there's a, a trick for you. You stick your finger in the milk and then uh, you count until 10. And if it doesn't burn <laughs> or anything like that, it's not supposed to, of course. But uh, if you can stand it 10 seconds with your finger inside the milk, that's the point. Uh, why didn't I use a thermometer? Because that's how I learned how to make it, okay? So I'm sharing exactly how I made it, how I learned it. And then here's the part that I love the most. You are going to add also unsweetened plant-based yogurt. Also, what kind of uh, yogurt? It depends. You go to the supermarket and then you choose the one that it has the highest uh, content of protein, okay? It works very, very, very well with kefir, cashew kefir. So it's up to you. But uh, if you can compare the labels again, you see the ones that has, uh, they, they have more content, uh, protein content, that's the one you're gonna choose. Stir a little bit and you're going to cover and put it in the oven for 24 hours. See, that's what you're supposed to look for, okay? It's thicker. It's almost yogurt tea. That's exactly what we want. If it looks like that, it means it worked. Now we're going to drain it. We're going to separate the water from the actual cheese. And we're going to do that by lining a sieve with cheesecloth. And then you pour it in and squeeze a little bit to help drain it faster. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to put a weight on top of this uh, yogurt, of this uh, cheese, and then we're going to put some weight on top, put it in the fridge and wait for two, three days. This is, a, I know it's lengthy, but it's worth it because if we wanted something more like of a cream cheese, like we have made before, if you wanna know how I made it, click over here. Plenty of recipes like that. But no, in this case, we want the cheese extra firm so we can roll it and make those little tiny beautiful balls which are called by the way labne it's um i think it's a lebanese recipe so yeah so the more it drains the firmer is gonna be and it's gonna hold its shape once it's in the olive oil all right so now we're going to make little balls Just fill the jar with any olive oil of your choice. Add some spices and herbs, whatever you choose.
like it don't you love it come here. seriously this is something out of this world isn't it i it's, i can't show it to you because <laughs> it's gonna spill uh, oil all, all over but it's so pretty so this is my easter gift to you i i've been meaning to make this recipe for six months and i want it to be perfect so i tested several different um yogurts and several uh, different different uh milks just to be sure of what i already knew was gonna happen it wouldn't work so only soy milk okay if you want to be adventurous and try peanut be my guest and then let me know actually peanut was the only one that i haven't tried because i couldn't find the one that i wanted like unsweetened without any vanilla or any of those nonsense that they put in the milk i don't know why well actually i know <laughs> but uh it's totally unnecessary and it's so creamy so beautiful and like i said look it holds its shape beautifully and then you just enjoy it. All right, it's so good. I forgot to show it on camera, but before I roll it, I put a little bit, I added a little bit of salt and then rolled it a little bit. You can add herbs, whatever it is, but I wanted to make it and keep it neutral. And uh, a tiny bit of salt elevated the flavors immensely. To my taste with a little bit of salt was perfect. So let me know what is the tradition where you live for Easter. I would love to know. And this is it for today. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, get the written recipe on my website, and I'll see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.